Welcome back YouTube to Battle for Wesnoth. We are playing as the undead and we've got to a fairly solid start. We've used our vampire bats to go and scout around um, the course and just to pick up as many houses as we can. I may as well just get this guy to again come and steal every house. Um, I might make another one or two just to go and, and swarm down here or I might send my ghosts around to here actually thinking about it. But what we can do in the meantime is we can get this mage to kill the fighter. Now, if you can see here, my ch each mage has two abilities. Um, we can take a look here. A mage has a chill wave and a shadow wave, which counts as cold damage and arcane damage. Now, cold damage is super effective against dragons. Um, it does a ton of damage to adepts are gonna be our dragon killers. Um, so we can just take shot, bam, dead, like that. And he actually only needs nine more experience to level up completely, so there we go. Our ghost can go and advanced to here. He's left a little bit exposed actually, so I might move a few troops just to near him. Um, we don't want him to die too quickly. Um, okay, this burner is a little bit of a problem. He's just sort of chilling out in my territory. Um, I'm just going to move this archer to here and then retreat this one back. Um, who would be best to come in and fight against these melee troops? I think probably my mage would have a good chance of killing him, so let's give it a try. Bam. Okay, not quite. Not quite, but that gives the ghost a good chance to come in. Only two attacks need to hit, which gives me a 78% chance killing, of killing him. Let's see if we can do that. Bam, as such. Okay, awesome. So our ghost is almost leveled up, which is good. Um, what else needs to happen, really? I'm going to move my skeleton archer down to here. Uh, and then my warrior down to here. I just need to give them other targets to keep my ghost safe. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to actually summon another ghost. Um, they're very good at night. And another vampire bat just to go and fly around and annoy everybody. Um, da -da 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 -da. Only my leader has something to do and I don't want my leader to fight. If my leader dies, then I will unfortunately basically lose the game. I won't be able to attack anyone else. So here we go, look, they're doing three damage to me, but if I hit, I heal myself too. Ghosts can replenish their own health, especially at night, by doing a lot of melee damage very quickly. Now their glider is doing exactly the same thing that we've been doing, and going around stealing all of the houses, so we need to go and uh, pick those back up, really. Especially at night, they're going to struggle to do damage to my skeletons. Skeletons are a very solid base troop. Um, probably out of all of the... Out of all of the countries apart from the drakes i think the undead probably had the most solid of base troops thinking about it but um yeah we'll be fine right this vampire bat is going to fly out to here to stop the drake from advancing really and taking any more um houses from us we have a, a, a mage here that wants to get a kill if he can and the mage can actually go and attack this drake so the ghost will come in first he's only got a 30 percent chance of killing him so it's unlikely so we'll do some damage first. Okay, one hits him. And I can get the mage in, 60% defense, and look at that, 19% chance to kill, 91% chance in total. Bam, dead. So this mage only has to get into one fight now, only get into it, doesn't even have to win it, um, which is fairly good. Uh, this mage is going to send a few attacks at the spearman. Bam, bam, like that. And then hopefully the ghost will come in and finish him off. Ah, oh, not quite, not quite, never mind. Um, in that case, what, am I gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pin this drake in with my archer. I've got a chance of killing him, but he'll do a big, big counter-attack to me that I'm... I don't really want to attack a burner, a ranged attack troop, with a melee attack, partic or with another ranged attack, sorry. That wouldn't be the best of advice. So, this bat is just going to keep going round, scouting round the side. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm going to get my guy in and I'm going to melee attack him instead. It doesn't do as much damage, but I've trapped him in here now, which means I should be able to get some support in. So I'm going to actually get another archer and another skeleton in. Yeah, and they can go and uh, kill that drake whilst the sun isn't shining. Uh, okay, now this guy really needs to go and get some health, but there's not many health opportunities at the moment. Um, apart from just sort of retreating. I might as well just retreat him for now then. 
Uh, my archer can get a very strong ranged attack in against this guy, like so. It's Merman Fighter. Merman are very good in the Asian tiles, but on and, and the Rither tiles and whatnot, but not very good against much else. Um, okay, and my ghost again. So two damage was dealt, but he ended up healing himself again, so he's actually ended that combat on as much health as he started it. Ghosts can be very annoying and very, very good, especially when you level them up. Um, okay, cool, right, that's me done for now. The burner has killed somebody. Ooh, and the burner only needs two more experience to level up, so I've got to be very careful who I attack, actually, with him. Oh, my ghost is being out melleed. That's right, that's very rare. And this drake has very stupidly landed next to my mage. Fair enough. Okay. So the, the difference between my last match and this match is that I'm actually owning half the houses on the map. I've got a very good solid income and it's mostly down to these vampire bats who are just sort of being annoying and stealing every city whilst we're attacking in the middle. So we're not really flanking anybody at the moment but at the same time we're not we're not letting our, our income be flanked either. Um, okay, right, 19 damage. And we've only got two attacks to finish that 19 damage. So, who's going to... It's going to have to be this guy to come in and hit as many times with his bow. Come on, you've got to hit. You've got to hit. Oh, that's not great. Okay, so I've got one chance now to kill him. Um, do I even have a troop? that has the range to come and fight him. Maybe this ghost, if, if I kill that troop. Um, actually, you know what, I'm, he might level up, he might level up, but that, I'm just gonna have to take that as a, as a, as a, as a problem. I mean, burners, I don't like burners leveling up, they're very, very good. Um, I'm just trying to think if it's worth killing this guy with the ghost whether it's worth let me just see one two three four five six seven oh he will be able to reach no okay right let's finish him off with the mage with the chill attack missed bam second one hit though that's good ghost you have the last chance to kill him you've got a 78 percent chance of killing him give it your best shot one hit two hits yes so we avoided him leveling up and we leveled up ourselves now Ghosts have a very fun assortment of upgrades here. I can even get him into a wraith. Now the difference between a wraith and a ghost, as you can see here, I go from a 4-3, remember it's knight, so it's improving, looking a little better than it is, a 4-3 draining attack to a 6-4 draining attack. Essentially this guy can steal so much health, like an extra attack and it's more powerful by 50%. He becomes a very powerful melee unit. Or a shadow. Now this guy has a very strong melee attack, but he's also got this move called backstab. Now, if there is, if you think of the hexagon grid, if there, say this castle, for instance, if, if the enemy is standing on the castle and my wraith is on this hill, if I have any unit on the back of him, so we are completely crossing him, then any move I do is um, double damage. So that would turn into a 16-3. Um, I might get a shadow later, but for now, wraiths are quite solid troops. So I'm just going to stick with a wraith for now. These guys can kill drakes very quickly. Um, and shadows have a habit of dying. Their backstab move is very good, but they, they don't have very much health or healing ability, really. So um, Now, this adept only needs to get into one fight. It doesn't even matter if he doesn't kill him. One, one attack hit. That's good. So he levels up in two, a sorceress. And it's basically just a more powerful version. His moves are slightly more powerful. He's got more health. He has a melee attack now as well, which is quite good. Um, and now he's on one attack. We have the sort of relative luxury of deciding who is going to get the experience from the kill. And again, I quite like ghosts. I'm going to try and level up on my ghosts where I can. So let's see if I can get him to go and get the kill. Like that. Wonderful. Um, awesome. Now this guy is uh, a ranged attack person. This is the Sauron, if you remember. He's a healer. He's got a good, decent ranged attack here. Um, so really, I want to hit him with melee attacks, yeah, ideally. You go and heal yourself there. You can heal yourself slightly further into the battle. Um, I don't really want to be pushing too much more. A knight is about to break, unfortunately. But 
it can give us a, t a chance just to do some damage um, while it's night. He got a lot of defense that, whereas this guy doesn't have much hair, right? Let's go and do this. Any little helps in terms of damage. There we go, wonderful. And then, okay, the boat, I may as well. He's gonna hit me back, but I can do a lot of damage to him in return. So, it's all good. Uh, this skeleton can move down here. This one can move down here as well. And I'm just going to save my money up for a little turn, a turn or two, um, just to see what, how the battle goes and whether we can decide what sort of upgrades we're going to need later. Now luckily for us, they are picking on the AI troops more than they are us. Um, going for ghosts on a melee attack is brave. He didn't heal himself though, so maybe that wasn't a, such a stupid idea. Now, day's breaking, alas, we're going to lose our combat bonus very soon, so we need to start thinking about being very sensible. Now, the good thing about having these vampire bats is not only are we stealing all the villages, but we've also got a very good range of where the opponent's units are, so we can avoid being um, surprise attacked where possible. This ghost is just going to sort of make his way. This wraith, sorry. Very powerful, again, our bat is going to make his way round. Now, I really want my sorceress to have the first hit on the fighter because I can take a lot of health from him. But actually, getting rid of this skirmisher who is behind my lines, that might be just as good option. So, let's hit him a few times. 16 damage. 16 damage. Oh, I killed him immediately. Getting this guy to a level 3. I, he's very powerful as a level 2, but a level 3 troop as a, as a dark mage, he becomes like this sort of wraith. Not a, uh, what's the word for it? Um, this undead monster of power, and oh my god, he becomes brilliant. I'm gonna keep this ghost alive. It's, it's, he's got half the, half the level already, 11 out of 21 XP. Even if he comes away from a battle completely, I'd rather keep him alive. Um, the bowman is gonna heal himself and attack at the same time. Double up, wonderful, and he gets the kill. That's good, he's starting to level up himself quite nicely now. Um, now I want to stay away from burners, uh, burners can do a lot of damage, but there doesn't appear to be any burners, so for now, this ghost can just have a fun little attack, actually. We'll stand in the way of the mage, so we can't attack our mage, and then we'll use this drain attack, because I can heal myself any damage that he does to me. Oh, not quite. That was a little bit silly, but never mind. Um, okay, our other mage, he can come and... I really need him to heal. Right, heal yourself. You've got a lot of experience. I don't want you to die. Um, and you two. Again. It's worth just keeping you guys here. Day's about to break. I don't need you guys to run in stupidly. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make myself another archer. Um, and another skeleton. Just to have a good skeleton base. These guys are quite powerful. And let's get myself a ghoul. I haven't actually got a ghoul. The poison attacks are quite fun with these guys. If you remember the, the assassins, the northern orc assassins were awful in our last game. So annoying. Poisoning all our troops all the time. So hopefully we'll be able to return the favour. Now the mage, these mages have such a strong attack. You can see he just did 24 damage to our warrior, our, our skeleton warrior there. Um, unfortunately the undead do have a very low resistance against magic. Um, so it's, it's kind of their weakness. Right, this bat, again, just keep heading via the cities as such. Here we go. My ghost can heal himself and advance around the flank. Um, this ghost really needs to heal himself, but... Again, this, this heavy inventryman, he does a very big amount of damage. 14-2 damage, do you see? It's quite a lot there, so... We don't want to leave him exposed. And a burner, here we go. The burner is the, the, the one that we need to be careful of. Um... So for now, my ghost is just going to completely retreat, as is my mage. Back you go. Um, and my archer as well. I'm going to let him take that, but then it means that I can sort of flank him and when, when, when day breaks. Um, yeah, no, I'm happy with that move. In the meantime, I can have fun with this fighter. 
seeing as he's sort of pretty much letting me surround him. Now, do you see here, I've got a draining attack, which is quite good. Um, the expected battle result, the most likely is that I, I end the battle on full health, but yeah, so I'm going to do that. Oh, come on. No, no, no. I don't need to wait that. Bane blade. Bam. Okay, well, bad timing. I wanted my attack to come last so that I actually healed myself, but never mind. Um, Mace Archer can come to here. You can go and retreat. Uh, and I may as well not attack at all, I think. That's probably the best thing to do. Um, yeah, definitely. I'll get these all here. Like so. Yeah, may as well attack. Whilst I've surrounded him. This warrior as well. There's no point attacking with him. I don't want to stand in the middle of the sea. He'll only have 40% defense. I only attacked because I had 60% defense here. And here we go. My mage can come in and hopefully get the kill. But we'll see. See what happens. No, not quite. Um, unfortunately, I left myself a little bit exposed there. That was not a clever move. So, I'm actually going to move my archer here. Um, oh no, he hasn't blocked it off. Or oh, to give him a more... I'd rather my archer die. Um, okay, I'm going to make myself another mage. And I'm going to make myself another ghoul. Let's have some fun with these guys. And actually, I can afford myself another archer as well. So, let's do that. I haven't talked about walking corpses. Walking corpses are the last option for recruitment for the undead. And these guys are level zero and they are extremely weak. They are pretty much just sort of, what's the, what's the term for it? Like a zerg rush. Like you, you build hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and just chuck them at people. Um, the problem with them is that they die very easily. But if you kill someone with them, they have this plague ability, which means they, they also rise as the dead. So they're sort of your typical zombie. You can get a kill with them quite easily. Oh no, burner against ghosts. Oh no, I'm gonna lose my wraith. Oh no. No, he just about stayed alive. I did lose my mage though. This is the problem of attacking in the day. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I have got so lucky with him. He he deserves to be dead, that wraith. There's no reason why he should be alive. Um I need to just consolidate and retreat. I shouldn't be fighting in the day. I've got a 25% penalty. They've got a 25% advantage. It's not good for me at all. But you continue just to sort of go down here. Investigate. Take as many cities as possible. Ghosts, you continue to flank. Yeah, you can too. Now, there's a few kills here for the, for the taking, if I'm clever. Um, this archer is pretty close to leveling, so... No, but he's not very good against that drake. That warrior, sorry. It is the middle of the day. Hmm, this guy is the biggest problem, this mage. But actually, I can get a ghoul in and do some damage because they don't have a very strong melee attack, really. Like so. There we go. Um, and see if I can get this guy in to come and finish him off. Or even try and hit him at all. Never mind. Okay, another ghoul in. Okay, well at least he'll leave eight. He'll lose eight health at the end of last, the next turn, um, which I guess is good. But I need to get my wraith out of there as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna have to kill these guys. In you come, mage. Get the kill. Bam, like so. Um, he can't r escape still. Um, it's unlikely. It's unlikely that I'd die if I melee attack him. I want I basically want to drain as much health as I can. Um, there's any bit of health to drain here. Yeah, okay, let's go for this. Let's go for this. So basically what's happening here is that I, I start with six health in the beginning. Like, it's predicting that I'm going to end with more health. So actually attacking in this case will heal me. There you go. Three health, six health, nine health, 12 health heals. Wow, that was worth doing that. Um... And then what I can do is I can get my mage in to come and uh, not quite kill him. Not quite. Okay, he's a burner, so he doesn't have too strong a melee attack. So let's just get my archer in. Just to do some damage. No, didn't work. Um, 
Never mind. Never mind. Actually, they don't have many traits, so I'm, I'm gonna just press my advantage here. I may, leave, I may choose to regret that one. But for now, I will. I mean, ideally, I don't want to be fighting this much during the day, but... Um... No, I'm not gonna... You know what, actually, yeah, go for it. Hit him. If this skeleton dies, that doesn't matter. Because I can get the kill. And now, do you see, he's got less health than my chill wave can do. So I only got to get one to hit. And both miss. Oh, no. Oh, no. Four, all four melee attacks. Range attacks, sorry, hit. Right, I'm going to move this guy in just to limit the amount of options that they can attack me from. Oh, I didn't go too well. That did not go well at all. That round. Um, keep on stealing houses. The longer we fight, the more houses we can steal, which is good. Um, you can see my allies, they don't even bother to try and steal those houses back. So, um, they're pretty much out of the game now. But the advantage is I've got three quarters of the houses now on the map. So they're going to try and melee my bat, which is a clever move. Oh no! Oh, they killed my mage! And the problem is he was a level 2 unit, which means he got... He just immediately got 16 experience. That was a bad loss, that was. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Well, I'm going to lick my wounds. Um, join me in the next episode where hopefully we can take the fight back to them. Uh, and hopefully try and win this game. We're, we're doing pretty well. So, thanks for watching again. See you in a bit. Bye.